pack. So wait, it's cheaper to... It's basically cheaper to buy the arrows instead of making them. Because you don't have to use up the wood too. Rock bundle. Tie rope. Shock arrow. Precision arrow. Shock wire. Fire arrow. Freeze bomb. Treasure box. Ooh. Yep, I bought it. So. Buy that. Buy that. Buy that. All my DLC. Buy back, and I have 26 shards, so. movie exactly like Far Cry 3 <laughs> so creates trash which detonate when the tripwire connecting to anchor points is broken it's best used across any patrol pass or narrow space can be modified all right now that you've got yourself a trip caster practice how to use it someplace else all right my life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over really could have fooled me <laughs> uh, trade. Uh, anything Will else? you be around later in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Uh, same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Okay, so I can be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. So I can sell him stuff now. Oh yeah, I just didn't see it. Okay. So, resources. Useful in crafting. Oh. So, that's like the most valuable thing I have. What does the lens do? Valuable to merchants. Used for selling female shards, trading with merchants. Okay, so there's no other point besides that. And I have low carrying capacity, so I might as well. So I want to look for something that is only useful. Okay, so. Yep, that's the only thing. Okay. Okay, so might as well sell those. So they got the. Uh, what's it called going on? So, anything else? I guess that concludes our business. Say. All right. Well, good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. I don't know if it. Level 8. Jeez. Not level for that yet. There's a fast travel pack. Inventory, that's what I need. Treasure boxes. Chill water, fast travel pack. Alright. Metal shards, 10, not bad. Watcher hearts, grapper lens, ridgewood. Trailblazer. Metal shards, metal vessel. Two free blaze, sparkler wire, and redwood. Metal shards, fast travel pack, redwood. So I'm assuming you have to buy fast travel packs, like it's not just infinite. Okay, so let's look at damage. It is. This has 80 handling. 80 handling. 80 handling. Let's see. 16, 25, 16. So this already does elemental damage. Okay, okay, so that's a crit caster. So Okay, so 12. It does five, I guess, armor pin. Alright. So 
So it looks like this one is looking best. Now let's look at outfits. Effects. So this is element elemental resistance, and this is something else. Although this has two modification spots. Resources, treasure boxes, special items, some ammo, corruption potions. Okay, so let's see. I have this currently equipped. I have no mods for it. That sucks. Make myself fire resistant at least. So, our resources. Let's see 15 metal shards, 20 ridgewood. So I can carry a little bit more. And apparently, there are many more satchels. Or there are many more uh, outfits, I have to say. Grab caster ammo. I need fatty meat for that. I only have three. And a boar bow. Let's see. Okay, so the trade off is it's five metal shards for a pack of ten. We had a one metal shard and two for. Ah, eh, never mind, it's not cheaper. Alright. Let me talk to him real quick. What is it now? Well, geez, the attitude. I just want to trade. Let's see, let's sell. Okay, so used for fast travel. So yeah, I guess you have to have packs to fast travel. I'll watch her heart. Are you sure that's it? I'm halfway full. Alright. So, anything else? Nope. I guess Goodbye. that concludes our business. All right. Okay, so campfire, mother's cradle, campfire. So I'll head over here. I'm going to save my fast travel packs until I know for sure if uh, if it uh, uses up like an ammo of some sort. <laughs> At least fall damage doesn't seem like super prominent. So that's good. Wait, what was that? Uh oh. I saw that blue and I was like, wait, what's that? <laughs> What do you think of the game so far? Okay, ignoring the fact... It what? Oh yeah, it's a beautiful game. And of course, if I had a PlayStation 4 Pro, it'd look a lot better. Well, yeah, I was just looking at like if there was a different way to go. I still haven't figured out like what the green is underneath my health bar. It's not stamina. You slide pretty far though. Give it time. I only need... Well, the issue is I need to take out the... Uh, what should we call it first? The watchers. I can get him to look over here. Is there head a weak point? Or is it, or is it just the... Uh... Is it the pox right there?
see, the only issue is, like, as soon as I shoot it, it's not gonna die in one hit, and then the walkers will rush me. But at the same time. Basically, just get back the resources I use on those arrows. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Some shock weave. I'm assuming I'll eventually come across things to actually use on the door packs. And got three blades off of that. So that's just their site. So I did that. So I need to turn that in. Go to that campfire. And go to these campfires and head over there, I believe. <coughs> Where do I turn in like the meat for that woman though? Oh, all the way over here. Oh my lord. There's a scrapper site near her. What's over here? The forgotten. Oh my lord, that's all the way over here. And a campfire, and then a scrapper site. Okay, so... Because of where I am, it makes more sense to head up to this bonfire now. Okay, so I this cradle. Oh, shut up. I'm assuming I can't save when they're uh, onto me. Actually, better yet. Wait, is this exactly like Dark Souls in the fact that enemies will respawn if you rest? Alright, I'm gonna need some more. 